Let's learn how to prove by mathematical induction. I want to prove that 1 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared up to the 2n minus 1 squared is equal to n times 2n minus 1 times 2n plus 1 all divided by 3. What you can see here at the left hand side is the sum of the squares of the first positive n odd numbers. I will walk you through three steps on how to prove by mathematical induction. So the first step is to show that it is true for n equal to 1. For n equal to 1, what we have here says 1 squared. So we have 1 squared, which is the left hand side. So let's plug in 1 at this right hand side and see if it will give us this 1 squared. All right. So at the right hand side, we have 1 times anywhere I see n, I'll put 1. 2 times 1 minus 1. 2 times 1 plus 1. All divided by what? 3. Okay, this is the right hand side. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. All over 3. 3 can cancel 3. This is equal to what? 1. And 1 is what we have at the right hand side. So the right hand side, which is 1, is equal to the left hand side, which is 1. Then it is true for n equal to 1. Okay? Take note. 1 squared is still the same thing as saying 1. Okay? In the next step, we will assume that it is true for some positive integers n equal to k. That is 1 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared plus 2k. In place of n, I'll put k minus 1 squared is equal to anywhere I see n here, I'll put k. That will be k bracket 2k minus 1, 2k plus 1 upon 3. So, having done this, I will now prove that it is true for n equal to k plus 1. Okay. For n equal to k plus 1, we have to show that 1 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared plus 2k minus 1 squared plus to get the next term in place of k I will write k plus 1 that is 2 bracket k plus 1 minus 1 all squared is equal to in this very expression anywhere I see k I will put k plus 1 okay so the function will not be a function of k, it will not be a function of k plus 1. So what I'm talking about, k plus 1, this will be 2 times k plus 1, then minus 1 was there, then this is 2 times k plus 1, n plus the 1 plus 1 all over 3 okay now let's simplify it all right k plus 1 okay this is 2k 
2 times 1 is 2, okay? 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 times k is 2k. 2 times 1 is 2, plus this one, that will be 3. All over 3. Now, let's simplify this left-hand side. We have 1 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared plus 2k minus 1 squared plus 2 times k is 2k. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. This part of the sequence is what we have here. And this very one is equal to this. So in place of this now, this part of the sequence, I'm going to write this expression, okay? Then plus 2k plus 1 all squared. I'm going to reduce this very expression now to obtain this. And if I'm able to get this, then it is true for n equal to k plus 1. So let's break down this expression at the left-hand side to obtain what is at the right-hand side. This is over 1. LCM is 3. 3 into 3 is 1. 1 times this is k. 2k minus 1. 2k plus 1. Then... 3 divided by 1 is 3 times this. That will be 3 all in brackets, 2k plus 1 all squared. I can factor out 2k plus 1. 2k plus 1 is common to these two terms. So let me bring 2k plus 1 out. Two k plus one comes out. Then what is left? We have k times two k minus one. Then here we have three times two k plus one because this one has a square. So if we divide two k plus one squared by two k plus one we we'll still have 2k plus 1 left, all right? All of them divided by 3. 2k plus 1. If we expand this bracket, we have k times 2k. That's 2k squared, okay? 2k squared. k times minus 1 minus k, 3 times 2k, that's 6k, and then 3 times 1 is 3. And this is equal to 2k plus 1, 2k squared, minus k plus 6k is 5k plus 3. Let's factorize this expression here. 2 times 3 is 6. So I need two numbers when I multiply to give me that 6. I will add to give me this 5. And the two numbers are 2 and 3. Because 2 times 3 is 6. And 2 plus 3 is 5. So in place of this 5k, I will write 2k plus 3k. So we have 2k plus 1, then in brackets 2k squared, 2k squared. In place of this, I'll write 2k plus 3k. Then plus 3, plus 3 all divided by 3. Good. So let's factorize this now. 2k plus 1. 
what is common to this first two? 2k. So bring 2k out. 2k. Put in a bracket. 2k squared divided by 2k is k. 2k divided by 2k is 1. Then let's factorize this. What's common to this last two is 3. 3k divided by 3k. 3 divided by 3 is 1. All of our what? 3. So we have 2k plus 1. Okay, I want to factorize this one now. 2k plus 3 will form a bracket. k plus 1 is common here, so k plus 1 will also form a bracket. All of our what? 3. And this, this expression here, is exactly what we have here. So this shows that it is true for n equal to k plus 1. Therefore, it is universally true for all n. So we can say this shows that it is universally true for all n since it is true for n equal to k plus 1. All right, I want to prove by mathematical induction that for n greater than or equal to 1, n cubed plus 2n is divisible by 3. The condition here says n is greater than or equal to 1. That means n can be 1. So we have to show that it is true for n equal to 1. Okay, for n equal to 1, let's plug in 1 into this uh, expression. That will be 1 cubed plus 2 times 1, which is equal to 1. 1 cubed is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. And 3 is divisible by 3. Yes, so it is true. Since it is true for n equal to 1, We'll assume that it is also true for n equal to k. k is some positive integers. That is, we have k cube plus 2k replace all n with k is divisible by 3 for all k greater than or equal to 1. Look at this statement. If k cubed plus 2k is divisible by 3, then there exists some positive integer. Let's say p such that this expression here, k cubed plus 2k, is equal to 3 times this positive integer. Now, this is what I'm talking about here. 12 is divisible by 3. 18 divisible by 3 also. 6 divisible by 3. Now, 12 is 3 times something. 18 is also 3 times something. Likewise, 6 is 3 times something. So if k cubed plus 2k is divisible by 3, then if we multiply 3 by a certain number, we are going to obtain this. That's what this means. Okay? So from here now, I want to make k cubed the subject of the formula. So k cube will be equal to 3p, 2k will cross and turn to minus. We'll make use of this later. Just take note. We've shown that it is true for n equal to 1. We assume that it is true for n equal to k. 
Now we have to show that it is true for n equal to k plus 1. So for n equal to k plus 1, we have to show that in place of k here, I'll put k plus 1, k plus 1, all to the power of 3, then plus 2 brackets k plus 1. Okay, we have to show that this is divisible by 3. So, this is our target. Let's expand k plus 1 to the power of 3. It means k plus 1 times k plus 1 squared plus 2 times k is 2k, two, 2 times 1 is 2, all right? All we have now is k plus 1. If I expand k plus 1 squared, I'll have k squared plus 2k plus 1 plus 2k plus 2. All right. Now, let me expand this one now. k times k squared, k cubed. K times 2K, 2K squared. K times 1, K. 1 times K squared, K squared. 1 times 2K, 2K. 1 times 1, 1. Then plus 2K plus 2. All right, let's add K cubed. 2K squared plus K squared is 3K squared. K plus 2K is 3K. 3K plus 2K is 5K. Okay. 1 plus 2 is 3. Keep watching. Remember we said that let K cube be equal to 3P minus 2K. As we made K cube the subject of the formula. So I want to write this expression now and put it here. So this will now be in place of k cube 3p minus 2k 3p minus 2k then plus 3k squared plus 5k plus 3. Now let's go ahead. 3p Minus 2k plus 5k is 3k plus 3k squared. Then we have plus 3. So what can you see here? 3 is common to everything. 3, 3, 3, 3. So I can bring 3 out. That is p plus k plus k squared then plus 1. Factor R3, this is what we have. So what you can see here is actually divisible by 3. Alright, this is the end of the proof. I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep watching, keep supporting by subscribing, like the video and share to your friends and your classmates. I will see you in the next video.